I'm Martin, and I'm going to be teaching the Math 10 boost this spring. I have a tip and trick for you. The first thing you should try and do with any factor in question is pull out the common term. In this case, it happens to be 3x. Now, 3x to the power of 5 divided by 3x gets me x to the power of 4. And 48x divided by 3x gets me 60. Sweet, I'm done. Not yet. This is the difference of squares. So both of these are perfect squares, and they're separated by a negative sign. That means this one is the square root of x to the power of 4, which is x squared. A positive and negative sign. And then this is the square root of 16, which is 4. Okay, now I'm done. <laughs> no, not yet. You have to factor completely, so you need to make sure each term doesn't factor again. In this case, we have another difference of squares. So this is the square root of x squared, which is x, separated by a positive and negative sign, and then the square root of 4, which is 2. Now am I done? Yeah, now you're done. I hope you found that helpful. Sign up now. See you at the booths.